guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelbizzle here on YouTube, and welcome back to another video where I talk about an opinion that I have that may not be as popular. This is part of my shamelessly Shelby uh, playlist, if you will. I guess, I, I don't know. I just feel like whenever I talk about things like this, I put them in the playlist of shamelessly Shelby because this is one of those opinions that I have that I'm sure a lot of vegans disagree with but it wouldn't be right of me to pretend like I don't have this opinion and that I don't do these things and to act like I'm not this have this mindset so it's kind of like I'm shamelessly telling you this even though I know that there's probably going to be pushed back. Today I wanted to talk about why I am recently completely vegan and why I can still wear leather. And the reason that I thought about making this video is because I have another video coming up, probably the day after this one goes up, the next one will go up, and it's going to be called my uh, thrift shopping wish list. So things that when I go to the thrift shop on a consistent basis, probably like two to three times every week, I go to the thrift store and I'm always looking for these items. Uh, and I noticed that while I was going through my list and naming the things I'm always looking for, a couple of the things on my list are leather items. And I felt the need to explain why that is and uh, just kind of clarify my opinions and my feelings about it before I make that video and then everyone's like, wait, didn't you just go vegan? Why are you wearing leather? So with all that in mind, I wanted to let us discuss this topic of vegans wearing leather today. And I say let us discuss it because I truly do want to hear your opinions on this. Um, my opinion is not always right and honestly there's no, I don't think, a complete correct or a complete wrong answer on this. So I want to know what you think about anything I say in this video. Before you leave this video, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you think, and let me know in the comments. So where to start with this is something that I don't think a lot of people understand and I, I need to clarify probably multiple times on this channel, but for right now I'm going to talk about it in the context of veganism. So the whole definition of veganism is to cause as much pain and suffering or as little pain and suffering uh, that is practicable to you. And so that typically means in a Western world not to consume any animal products. That is completely possible to do in our society today. However, the whole purpose behind veganism is to not create a demand for animal products. And I don't know if a lot of people understand the economics behind that, so I want to try to explain it to you. The reason that I don't purchase meat, right, so there's a piece of meat sitting at the grocery store. I have chosen not to buy that, pretty much ever, buy meat from the grocery store. I do not buy it. Now does that mean that the animal that's already dead laying there in the store is not going to die because I didn't buy it? No, right? That animal is already dead and it's already there at the supermarket. So me not buying it doesn't save that animal's life. That animal has already, unfortunately, been murdered. The reason I don't buy it is because I do not want to pay money to support that industry. This is very, very like in line with supply and demand. Whatever the market is demanding because of what you are purchasing is what the market will produce more of. So if I were to go to the store and buy chicken, the producer would realize that people are buying this product and they would get an idea of how many people buy this product, how much they need to supply, and by me not purchasing it, I'm not adding to that. Does that make sense? So I think you need to understand the purpose behind not buying these things and the fact that it is not to create a demand, okay? So with all that being said, the reason and the way that if you are vegan, in my opinion, you can wear leather is if you buy it second hand. I buy pretty much all of the things that I own nowadays. They came from a thrift store, hence this flannel, which is like one of my favorites now. But I pretty much buy everything these days second hand. And that is including shoes, which is the main reason I'm talking about buying leather today as a vegan, is because of the fact that I need really good quality shoes. And I can get away with having a vegan leather handbag, that's not a problem but purchasing shoes that are leather seems almost like a necessity. And the reason that I think it's okay to do so as a vegan, there are a couple reasons. Number one is because reduce, reuse, and recycle is really important to me. I am an ethical vegan, but the biggest driving force for me is the environmental concerns that come along with consuming and producing animal products. And so when you buy things secondhand, you're not only not giving money to that industry, but you're also reusing and recycling and reducing the amount of products that you're 
consuming. Does that make sense? So the reason you can buy secondhand leather is because the product that is at the thrift store has already been purchased from the supplier. And you buying it from the thrift store does not create a demand for another pair of those shoes. You see what I'm saying here? So you're not causing any additional harm, which as we talked about, the purpose of veganism is to not cause any more harm. And by purchasing leather shoes from the thrift store, you're not causing any more harm or suffering or any of those things. But in addition to not contributing to that, you're also, like I said, reducing, this is actually just reusing. You're reusing a pair of shoes that someone already bought and then gave to the thrift store. And in a lot of cases, thrift stores throw stuff out. As you guys know, I am a dumpster diver and I have dumpster dived at a few thrift stores in my day and you will find perfectly good things in a thrift store dumpster if you check them. Because they just get so much stuff and they need to get stuff off the shelves to make room for new stuff coming in. So a lot of times if you don't purchase those things from the store, they will get thrown out. And so I am a really big proponent of secondhand shopping and that's why I think it's okay to buy secondhand leather. And I have one more reason why I think it's okay to buy secondhand leather, so let's get to that. The reason I prefer to buy secondhand leather shoes is because they are much better quality. Don't get me wrong, I would never purchase a leather shoe new, I just would never do it, but they are better quality. They do last longer in my experience. I'll talk about this more in my wish list in my next video, but basically I have two pair of shoes that I have been wearing consistently over the past five years, and they're both leather. So five years ago, I wasn't concerned with the ethics of leather, obviously. I was much younger and much more ignorant to the world. I asked for a pair of Sperry's for Christmas, and my ex-boyfriend bought me a leather pair of boots for Valentine's Day. Both of these pairs of shoes, which I still wear today, despite the fact that both of them have holes in them. I don't know if I'm just hard on shoes or what, but I have bought leather shoes in the past, or just fake leather shoes in the past, and they fall apart within weeks. There may be companies that make really great quality leather vegan shoes, but at the same time they're probably a lot more expensive and I like to thrift shop because not only is it not having to create a whole new product because even if it is fake leather it's most likely a plastic and that's not something I want to be supporting. It's not biodegradable, it's not good for the environment and it's creating a new product as opposed to buying a secondhand leather product that's going to last me a lot longer. It's a product that's already been made and it's not contributing to the supply chain of anything at all. I will also add in that I don't just buy leather things because they're cute or trendy or because I just want them. Like I said, I have kept the two pairs of leather shoes that I currently wear for years and years and years and they just last a long time. I need to replace those things and that's the reason I would be looking to buy a secondhand leather shoe. Now there are a couple reasons that I have heard in the past from other vegan channels and stuff like that why you shouldn't buy secondhand leather even though you're not directly contributing to the supply chain of leather and that's because someone else could come behind you at the thrift store and purchase that leather item someone who for say isn't vegan and then instead of going and buying a real leather product new they bought the secondhand leather product at the store does that make sense? So instead of purchasing one new, if I buy the real leather boot at the store and then the person comes along and they want a leather boot but it's not there, then they'll go out and buy a new one, right? This is obviously a hypothetical situation, but I do think it's something to take into consideration. The other reason is also hypothetical and it is that people may see you wearing the leather and then think it's okay to wear leather. Basically, you would be promoting the idea that it's okay to wear leather, right, as a vegan. And that's not really something you wanna be doing. Although at the same time, I wanna throw out there that you can't really tell if someone is wearing real leather just by looking at their shoes because there are so many faux leathers out there today and honestly, most people who would buy something because someone else is wearing it, they're probably into trends, fashion, and fast fashion. So they're not gonna buy a high quality item anyway because leather is typically much higher priced. They're gonna go out and buy like a fast fashion fake leather boot. So I don't know how much I buy into that idea, those hypotheticals that could happen if I buy secondhand vegan leather. Someone might see me wearing it or someone might come behind me and purchase it if I don't. Again, those are hypotheticals, whereas my example of buying a fake leather shoe and those being less good quality than real leather shoes, that's a real situation. In my experience, multiple experiences, fake leather shoes fall apart a lot faster than real leather shoes. So that's obviously a much more environmentally friendly option, and since I know that to be fact, 
I think that that's why I err on the side of it's okay to wear secondhand leather. So if you didn't catch my opinion and my conclusion by the end of this, I do think that buying secondhand leather is okay to do even if you are a vegan and you are free to disagree with me and leave your comments in the comment section telling me why. You can tell me that you think I'm wrong or right or you can just tell me your opinion and maybe I'll take it into consideration. But as of right now, I am looking for a couple secondhand leather options which you'll hear about in my thrift shopping wish list coming up the day after this one goes live. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure your notifications are on and give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you think. Remember, until next time, create the peace.